to add. Okay. So let us see here field penetration for small loop antenna. Small loop antenna. So small loop antenna means so see that we are taking the small circular antenna. Small circular antenna. So it is having a radius of it is having a radius of R. The circumference is to a circumference is the <coughs> total diameter from here to here you consider it is r plus or it is two okay so this is here r is very very less than lab we are calling it as small loop and power. <coughs> with the same area so the area of this y r square with the same area i am taking a square loop at taking a square loop at the now side is one two three Four. Okay, so whatever the area this <coughs> loop antenna is having, this uh, the square is also having the same loop antenna. So the dimensions, okay, the dimensions means the same thing we have assumed with the same with square. This is square loop. Okay. So up to now, let us see this diagram. Here I have kept my square uh, antenna, square loop antenna. Okay, here with the length d with length d okay how <coughs> oh, i have kept my antenna up to now in the previous uh, sections we have kept my uh, our antennas vertical whenever you kept your antennas vertical like this what are the field components are available when antennas are kept and antennas are kept vertical what are the field components we have studied? We have studied E theta and H theta. But here, instead of keeping my antenna vertical, I have kept my antenna horizontal. Okay. So whenever I have kept horizontal, whenever I have kept my, instead of keeping vertical, I have kept my antenna horizontal. So whenever I have kept my antenna horizontal, automatically the field components are E phi and H theta. Okay, so this is the thing you want to notice in the figure. Okay, so this is the thing you want to notice in the figure. Okay, so what are the components are available here? The components are available here. It is <coughs> E phi and H theta. And here my antenna is kept urgent. Here my antenna is kept urgent. Okay, so this is the thing you want to keep in mind. Okay. This is the thing you want to keep in mind. Okay, so E pi and H theta. Okay, so the same thing. Okay, so let us consider here 1 and 4. 1 and 4. Since this is small typo, let us consider 1 falls on 4 and 2 falls on 3. 1 falls on 4 and 2 falls on 3. So here this is nothing but 1 and 4 and this is nothing but 2 and 4. Okay, so two point sources, I, I will consider it as Simply two point sources separated by a distance t. Separated by a distance t. I am assuming this is theta. If this is theta, this is 90 minus theta. For example, let us consider the point p. Okay, so which signal will reach? So the signal from dipole 2, 1, 3 will reach first when compared to the signals 1 and 4. So how much extra distance of this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, from uh, dipole 1 and 4, it won't travel. This is the extra distance that should be traveled by this. Okay, so that extra distance is nothing but the total distance is D. Okay, so if I make this, this is the extra distance is D cos 90 minus theta. D cos 90 minus. So this is the path. Okay, from here to here, the distance is same, but the extra distance you want to travel the path distance is D cos. 90 minus theta. Okay, so let us see the field pattern for small loop right now. So the path difference. So <laughs> the path difference. What is the path difference here? This is nothing but t cos 90 minus theta. Path difference is equal to t cos 90 minus theta. Okay. So generally path difference can be expressed in path difference expressing in lambda same procedure what we have done for two point sources separated by a distance d okay in antenna arrays while you are discussing there we have discussed two point sources with separated by d okay so the path difference expressing in lambda it is equal to d cos 90 minus theta by lambda. so what is the relationship between path difference and phase angle 
Base angle. Base angle is equal to two pi times half path difference. Two pi times half path difference. So it is equal to base angle psi is equal to two <coughs> pi times half d cos of ninety minus theta by lambda. That is two pi by lambda into d cos of 90 minus theta. So, what is the value of beta? We know that the value of beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda. Okay, so therefore, psi is equal to, what is the value of cos 90 minus theta? Cos 90 minus theta is nothing but sin theta. Cos 90 minus theta is nothing but sin theta. So, therefore, psi is equal to beta d sin theta. So, this is the phase. Okay, so this is phase angle. Okay. So let us see here, uh, how will you calculate the field point at P? The field point at P is due to, mm, the field due to, uh, electrical field due to, let us consider this is E1 and E2. Okay, so the total P is equal to combination of E1 plus E2. Okay, so if this is the, uh, from here, if this is you are getting electrical field E1, and from here you are getting electrical field E2, the total uh, field at point P, point of observation is combination of E1 plus E2. Okay, so therefore, the field component <coughs> field component at point P at P is equal to field component due to field component due to 1 and 4 plus Field component due to two one three. Okay, two one three. Okay, so therefore, field component is equal to component is equal to magnitude into input to put of J base base and okay. So therefore, E five one is equal to so minus. E not into the power of j psi by t. Similarly, e phi 2 is equal to e not into the power minus j psi by t. So, therefore, the total field e is used for combination of e phi 1 plus e phi 2, that is minus e not into the power of j psi by 2 plus e not into the power of minus j psi by 2. Okay, so this is since here minus is there, okay, it is nothing but j into minus of e power j psi by 2 minus e power j psi by 2 by 2j. Okay. So, this is nothing but this is in the form of e power j theta minus e power j theta by j. So, therefore, e phi total electrical field is equal to minus 2j e naught into <laughs> e naught. Okay. So, e naught into sin psi by 2. Okay. Therefore, so e phi is equal to e phi is equal to s two j e naught sine sine means what is the value of psi? The value of psi is equal to theta d sine theta by two theta d sine theta by two. So magnitude of isotopic radiator. Magnitude of isotopic radiator. So you have already discussed. Magnitude of isotopic radiator. So E naught is equal to J into eta I T L sin theta by eta into I T L sin theta by two lambda of so therefore it is E naught. So E naught is equal to J into eta I T L <coughs> by two lambda so theta is equal to ninety. So, in the place of E naught, simply substitute the magnitude. Okay, substitute the So, therefore, E phi is equal to minus <coughs> J to what is the value of E naught? It is J eta ideal by 2 lambda r to sin of theta d sin theta by 2 here. J, J is there, it is minus 1, already minus is there. Okay, so minus, minus will get cancelled. Therefore, so E phi is equal to 2 into, what is the value of J? 
this data on 25. 25 into ideal lambda r to sign of data d sign data by get cancel. Okay. So if you observe here, if uh, <laughs> the value of if the distance separation distance is very very less okay so if theta is small sin theta can be represented as theta similarly since the separation distance is small okay so since if the separation distance of d is very very less sin of beta d sin theta by 2 since this is very small we can write it as beta d sin theta by Okay, beta d sin theta by two. Since d is it is so what is the separation distance between the two isotropic atoms? Because we are taking a small loop atom. Small loop atom means here the dimensions of the loop are very very less when compared to the lambda. That's why I am I am considering d as very very small. D as very 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 small. Very small. Okay, so. So in this expression, sine of beta d can be represented with beta d sine theta. <coughs> Therefore, e pi is equal to, what is the value of e pi? 20 pi pi ideal pi or id or id. That's why it has ideal or id <coughs> by lambda r into beta d sin theta by 2. So, so here what is the formula for the area of a square area is equal to this dl means I will consider it as small dimension d area is equal to d into t. Okay, so area. Okay, so here d is there, here d is there. Okay, so once to 60. Therefore, e pi is equal to 60 pi into i into so in d into t d square okay, i can write it as area i into a into <coughs> theta sin theta by lambda or by lambda okay so <coughs> theta sin theta by so its value is Beta sin theta. So we know that we know that beta is equal to pi by lambda. So we are simply to expand this pi is equal to pi pi okay. The base of beta is two pi by is already lambda into two pi by lambda into sin. Okay, so lambda 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 square. Okay, so there it is one twenty. Here pi is there, pi is there, pi square one twenty pi square i a sin theta by i okay, lambda square. So therefore, what is the value of theta? It is one twenty pi square i a sin theta by i a sin theta by Okay, so we know that one relation that in uh, in a dipole or uh, while you are deriving for half a dipole, we have derived that e theta by h phi is equal to e dot. Okay, but when this is play, when the antenna is facing vertical, but right now we have kept my antenna all chart. Okay, so in this expression, e phi by h theta is equal to yeah. No. So therefore, what is the expression for h theta? h theta is equal to e pi by eta. e pi by <coughs> eta. Okay, so e pi by eta means nothing but so eta value is 125. Eta value is 125. So here 125, I write like this, pi e to i a sin theta by lambda square r into eta. This one, this one is that. So, what is the value of h pi? So, h pi is equal to h pi, sorry, h theta is equal to h theta is equal to 
with the value of h theta. So pi i a sin theta by lambda square of a sin pi i a sin theta by lambda square of a. So this is the expression for h pi. And similarly, what is the expression for u pi h theta? This is the expression for expression for h theta. This is the expression for h theta. This is the expression for e phi. e phi is equal to 120 pi square into i into area to sin theta by lambda square. So these are for small group. These are the sparse group and small group. Yeah. Okay, now let us compare the small loop and with comparing of small loop with short delta. Short delta. Okay, so let us consider small loop and let us consider small loop and that's very short type of short type. Okay. So you know that what are the electrical field? So for small loop antenna, <coughs> or for small loop antenna, what are the terms we are having? E pi. So what are the values of E pi? 120 pi square i a sin theta pi lambda square r. So what are the units of uh, electrical field? It is volts per meter. Similarly, so h theta is equal to pi i a sin theta by lambda square. Now, what are the units here per this ampere per ampere per? So coming to the short typo, we have already derived. Okay, so e theta is equal to 60 i m cos pi by two cos theta by r sin theta. Similarly, h pi is equal to m cos pi by 2 cos theta by 2 pi r sin theta. Okay. So, this is for small loop antenna. Where you have kept my small loop antenna in horizontal form. Short dipole you have kept in vertical. vertical. Okay. So, this is the comparison between small loop antenna and short dipole. And short type. 